Let me see if you if you can remember this uh, in particular part in uh, one of that's an old song I think. Let me see. Handy. Yeah, let me see. Ah, yeah, the melody. <laughs> wait, yeah, I know it. Wait, wait. Yeah, I know it. Wait a second. Wait a second. <laughs> I know it. Wait. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh, shit. It's a Dimo song. Yeah? Yeah, it's which one? Wait a second. Which is the most known song? And that's too big. It's a. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not in the first of the. Uh, yeah, wait a second. Morning Palace. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <Good man. laughs> Det 
was 13 when I started um, playing and um, in the beginning I picked up the bass guitar actually and uh, and later on I just moved on to uh, doing vocals as well and the bass um, for a local death metal band and we just had like a couple of gigs here and there and um, later on in 92 I think it was when uh, when I met Shagrat for the first time, and um, we went to the same college, and we briefly started talking, and then uh, one thing led to another, and we decided to um, just meet up and and jam and stuff like that. So that's when it all started with Dimmenberger. It was, I think, it was summer of '93. When we eventually started jamming, um, I picked up the guitar and um, and Shagrat was playing drums at the time. And uh, Shulao, we, um, we invited him and he started also on guitar first and later they swapped, but uh, that's a different story. Um, I guess the influences we had um, basically was like thrash metal, 80s, um, black metal. Um, and we just felt like we should do something else than, you know, like usually people did, you know, like bass, guitars, drums and vocals. Therefore, we also um, started to um, use keyboards and we found our own sound, I think. Personally, I have always looked upon uh, black metal as um, a satanic way of uh, playing heavy metal music. Um, I think it's important to have um, incorporate different styles into uh, into a band. You know, it's uh, it should be about diversity and variety. There seem to be a lot of people out there that um, I think that they have to consider themselves as uh, a satanist to be able to listen to to Dimmu and Borger and black metal in general. Uh, I think that's a really narrow uh, way of thinking and uh, I think the message that we want to give out to people is that you know you should find your own morals. <laughs> Hypocrisy! 